Today I'm going to show you how to manually adjust the engagement point on your fan clutch. Now this is for a bimetal spring fan clutch and it will help you if you have an overheating problem even if you've replaced your fan clutch. The reason why I did this is because on my 1980 Pathfinder in the summer when I had the air conditioning on the temperature on the gauge would rise yet the fan would not engage. So I replaced the fan clutch probably three or four times with a factory unit. It still didn't work. Now there's several factors you have to look at. First of all, do you have a good shroud? Is your shroud intact? Yes. Okay. And then we also have to look at the coolant level, leaks and stuff like that. It was all checked out. Still, the fan clutch would not engage. So what I'm going to show you is how to manually engage it at your desired temperature to keep your car from overheating. Right, that, this, this, see this aluminum thing? This, this shiny gray thing? That's what I'm gonna be working on. So now that I have the fan clutch off, I'm gonna show you how to adjust it manually. And the operation is quite simple. This spring heats up from the hot air flowing through the radiator. As the spring heats up, it turns a little valve, in this case, counterclockwise, slightly. Once that valve turns, it engages this whole coupling, makes it solid, pretty much, and your fan will be running. That's what you want when it's hot. Once the, the temperature from the radiator cools off, it'll rotate clockwise slightly, and relax, you know, the spring will relax the spool valve, and it'll disengage. You would be surprised at how much mileage you lose if this is engaged all the time and how hot your car gets if this does not engage. For example, I'm going to show you with this propane torch. Don't do this at home because you might fry your fan clutch, but it's okay for just uh, instructional purposes. I'm going to heat this up. You're going to watch this spring rotate uh, counterclockwise. So here we go. Okay. So that spring rotated counterclockwise. It turned the valve and it's telling this to engage. My problem was that even though this rotated, it wasn't enough. It came on too late, if at all. So the way you fix that, the whole reason why you're watching this video is to take this spring, see that slot there? And move it over one notch here, like this. Or, well, I like to use just one notch at a time, like this. But you have to make sure it sits inside the notch so it doesn't come out. One good thing too is if you want to make a reference point, it's a little hot right now, but you can take like a Sharpie pen or some type of marker and put a mark so you know where you start. I moved it one notch. You go any further than that, it'll probably stay on all the time. That's That will not be the situation you want, okay? But uh, let's say I started here, moved it over. In this case, when it heats up, it goes counterclockwise. I think most of them are like that. So that's how you adjust your fan clutch manually for proper engagement. Thank you.